Y'all, Cardi B says she ran into somebody at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. And while she didn't reveal who it was, fans on social media are theorizing it was Saweetie. And apparently, Offset has been out here defending Saweetie. Say what now? I definitely ran into somebody. I'm practically on live right now, so I can tell you. I can't tell you. But I, I'm going to tell you as soon as I get the f*** out this phone. So far, it, it went smooth. It went smooth. It went smooth. I definitely ran into somebody. You know, you know me. You know I don't play that. But I'll call you later because I'm gonna lie. I'll tell you all the Tiana later. Bye. <laughs> So what's really happening here is that Cardi B attended Vanity Fair's Oscars after party in a beautiful black Versace spring 2003 lace gown. And while she looked absolutely stunning, an Instagram live session from the same night revealed that she didn't have the best time at the party. While on the live, Cardi answered a phone call and told the person that she was talking to that she ran into somebody and she would be giving them the tea later. Like I said, Cardi herself didn't drop any names, but one person who was at the party said that the person Cardi ran into was Saweetie. The source told Media Takeout, Cardi saw Saweetie and went right over to her and started yelling, what you gotta say now, or something like that. It was real get up. The source also said that Saweetie tried to keep it classy, but Cardi didn't back down. Basically, Cardi was making a fool out of herself yelling and Saweetie didn't back down, but also didn't raise her voice like Cardi. The source also said that things didn't escalate past the verbal exchange and Cardi walked away after giving Saweetie a piece of her mind. Woo chow! In addition, Saweetie also made it look like she really got into it with Cardi when she also posted on X after the party. I'm really just a bad B that mind my business. If you don't like me, that's on you and your mama boo. When asked by a fan who she was talking about, Saweetie responded by saying, the girls talking about my twins. I'm not sure what she meant by this. Maybe she was referring to how people were talking about the twins on her chest, but many people were still convinced it was definitely about Cardi. Baby, if y'all don't know the tea about what happened between Cardi and Saweetie, it all goes back to when Offset got accused of hooking up with Saweetie. You know, at the time she was tight with Cardi and used to date Offset's homeboy and Migos partner Quavo, but the friendship was broken after the cheating allegations. And as much as Offset never confirmed the affair with Saweetie directly, Quavo literally rapped about it saying, BF my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. You wanted the gang, you should have just said it, we would have blessed it. Since Saweetie and Quavo dated from 2019 to 2021, people immediately assumed that Quavo was talking about Saweetie in his lyrics. Well, Cardi tried to shut down those rumors when she appeared on the Jason Lee show. And when she was asked about her decision not to respond to the rumors, this is what she said. You know I was quiet? Hmm. I was quiet because one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find out the truth. Mm -hmm. And you know that I was finding out that truth mm -hmm. in and now. So it's like, when I, if I entertain something that I know is not true on the internet, people be like, oh, it is true because you're addressing it. But when I don't address it, it's true or not, it's true as well. Also while going back and forth with a fan on X in August 2022, Cardi stated that the cheating allegations were not true. She responded to the fan by saying, no baby you lying, you making crazy lies, starting ish and putting female rappers in it with no receipts. No blog ever spoke on this. All of a sudden you come out of jail five days ago and you made up lies in two hours with no receipt. As for Saweetie, she was asked whether there was anything going on and she said that the media was the one pitting them against each other for no reason. I think the media just likes to take things out of context and I'm loving how uh, women artists are starting to realize that sometimes it's the media that creates something that's not there. And I think it's just, it just shows mature and it just shows growth amongst me and my peers to not be affected by what the media says. Regardless of whether Cardi and Saweetie refused to accept that Offset cheated with Saweetie, there were reports that the whole mess caused some serious drama in Cardi and Offset's marriage, to the point where Cardi was thinking about pulling the plug and filing for divorce. A close insider actually spilled the tea saying, Cardi is not doing well. Offset denied the rumor is true, obviously. And I don't know whether Cardi believes him or not, but Cardi is in a bad place. She's humiliated. I think Cardi's ready to end her marriage. 
it's too much. Keep in mind, Cardi had already filed for divorce from Offset before when there were rumors about him messing around with another female rapper. Back then, nothing got confirmed and they patched things up. But Cardi made it crystal clear that if she ever caught Offset slipping again, she was out. So when this Saweetie situation went down, it seemed like game over, especially after Cardi dropped that mysterious tweet talking about starting fresh. She was like, some days you gotta say F it. So many things are out of our control and instead of spending time worrying about how to fix it or make it better, you gotta just throw your hands up and say F it. So today on World Mental Health Day, I'm teaming up with DKNY and NAMI Communicate to let you guys know that sometimes you gotta just roll with the punches and start over tomorrow. Well, with Cardi having a shouting match at the Oscars after party, people are saying that Cardi is still very threatened by Sweetie like she has been since the rumor about the cheating affair. Apparently she's low key, been trying trying to be like Saweetie and people have been pointing out to different scenarios like when Cardi kind of used Saweetie's vibe in her song Up. When I heard the Cardi B Up song, mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone's ever asked you this and if they have, I, I didn't get a chance to see it, but when I heard, I know that's right, mm -hmm. like I just, we all know that's like Saweetie's vibe, you <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? First I was like, maybe she'll be on a remix or something like that. I'm contagious, baby. <laughs> yeah. Honey, none of them is addressing the incident, even though they are out here hinting it in our faces. But there are sources also claiming that with the possible shouting match between Cardi and Saweetie, Offset has been telling people that he's team Saweetie. I mean, if that is actually true, that could get real messy and probably prompt Cardi to go on another rant. But since I can't verify that, I won't get into it. You know what? It's also possible that Cardi was talking about Ice Spice, who was also at the party. Y'all know that Cardi and Ice have also been going at each other's throats for a hot minute. And even during Cardi's performance at Hot 97's annual festival, she shaded Ice Spice when she chose to begin with an intro that sampled the song Tomorrow from the iconic 1982 film Annie. Now here's where the shade comes to play. The main character in the film Annie is known for her vibrant gender colored hair, which bears a striking resemblance to Ice Spice's signature hairstyle. And this intro choice could be seen as a subtle dig at her expense. During the performance, the Summer Jam screen also flashed an anime image of a woman that had an uncanny resemblance to none other than Ice Spice herself. The image depicted a woman who appeared to be bending over next to the New York City skyline and the resemblance to Ice Spice in her iconic munch filling you persona was hard to ignore. It's clear that Cardi B intentionally included this image, stirring up further speculation and fueling the feud between them. There have also been a few more instances here and there that have made people assume that the fight at the Oscars at the party was with Ice Spice. Child, to some people it really even doesn't matter whether it was Saweetie or Ice Spice. It's the fact that Cardi had a shot shouting match with anybody at such an event. And while many people were debating whether the somebody was Saweetie or Ice Spice, guys complained about Cardi always starting drama. Baby, if she keeps this up, nobody will be inviting Cardi to their events ever. It's like she's always right in the middle of drama. I mean, she was previously injured in a physical fight with Nicki Minaj at a New York Fashion Week party in 2018. She's also had beef with other rappers other than Saweetie and Ice Spice, such as Doja Cat, Azalea Banks, and JT of the City Girl. Well, with the allegations that she tried to jump somebody, one person on X was just like, notice how each time there was an event, there is always some type of altercation involving 12 faces. It's clear she is the problem. People are even saying that at this point, Cardi should just get blacklisted because clearly she can't keep it together. So do you guys think it's become clear that Cardi is always the one stirring up things? Also in your opinion, is it more likely that she had that shouting match with Ice Spice or Saweetie? Let me know what you think in the comment section below.